Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you guys another look using my Tiny Marbles palette, so this eye right here. But not only this eye, I am also going to show you how I use two of the shades on my cheeks. As always, I'm gonna be adding this video to the Tiny Marbles playlist, so if you would like to see some more looks, make sure you check out the playlist. But I also have some news for you guys. I've had a lot of people ask about the pre-order, which is happening right now, when your orders will be placed if you decide to purchase now or you know do the pre-order. I talked with Sydney Grace and they said that they are doing their absolute best. They're working on everything right now and they are hoping to have your palettes start to ship at the beginning or mid of September. So in case anybody was wondering about that, that is the update for the palette and when you can expect it to start being shipped. I also want to let you guys know that Beauty will be back in stock this weekend. Should be Thursday or Friday. I just talked to Christian Audette as well and they let me know that this should be back in stock by this weekend. So keep an eye out for that. Of course, I will post about it as well. But Kitten is taking just a little bit longer. Again, some places just have not opened up some laboratories and things like that. So it's going to take a little bit longer for Kitten Liner. But Beauty is making its comeback. That's it for the updates for now. Let's go ahead and get into this look. The first shade I'm gonna take is Tree Hopper and I'm grabbing that on a refer number one. Placing this shade directly into the crease, back and forth windshield wiper motions first, outer to inner, and then circular motions to start blending the shade upward. Zoeva 227, now I'm gonna go in with the shade Flutterby. Again, I'm starting in the crease. I wanna add this shade in because I'm going to be using this for my blush. And I think it's really pretty and complimentary when you have like your blush shade on your eyes as well. I just, I really like it. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just kind of buffing this all in the crease. It's getting on the lid and that's totally fine. Going in with the original refer brush, no additional product. I'm just kind of merging those two shades together, blending them together. Next up, I'm taking the shade Death Moth on a Wayne Goss number 19. Starting this on the outer corner, tapping motions, and then working upward. softly, bringing it into the crease first, and then I'm going to start going around the edges very lightly to blend, smoking the shade out, but I'm using a very light hand to do so. On a Sonia G Builder 3, I'm gonna go in with the shade Meadow Hawk. Placing this on the lid, tapping over the last shade. I'm gonna leave a little room up front. Refer number 21, now I'm gonna grab the shade Marvel. Placing this right beside Meadow Hawk on the front portion of the lid. Going in with the same brush, I just wiped it off and I'm taking the shade Web. I'm going to use this to highlight my brow arch as well as apply some to my inner corner. I'm adding just a little bit more and blending it out on the inner corner to really brighten up the look. Next, I'm gonna grab Flutterby 
on my refer number three, running this shade right along the lower lash line. And then with the Bristles Beauty E04RS, I'm gonna take Death Moth and I'm going to stamp this right up against my lashes on the lower lash line. With that same Bristles Beauty brush, I'm now gonna go in with the shade Spider. I'm taking this shade and stamping it at an angle, so it kinda gives me this lifted, smoked out appearance, kinda like a liner, but with a shadow. And then I'm gonna finish off the look with liner and mascara. Now I'm gonna go in with Flutterby on my Bristles Beauty F09RM. You do not need much, so don't pick up too much. And I'm using this for my blush. I'm now gonna take Web on my Anastasia A23. I'm using this to highlight my face. I like to go back in with my blush brush, no additional product, and just merge the blush and the highlight together, and kind of soften it up. Switching to my Linda Hauberk 306, and I'm highlighting my nose and chin. And then I'm finishing off the face using my Sicily powder and my BK Beauty 102 to buff. I already have my kitten liner in collaboration with Christian Audet on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add beauty as well from Christian Audet on top. And this is gonna finish off the look. <laughs> All right, beauties, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know if you did by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, and please know that I love you all. Thank you so much for being so supportive and so loving. I love you guys. Thank you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.